Hi, I'm Hadas. Welcome to Tip Talk. In this episode, I'd like to talk to you about multiple soundtracks in your Canva video editor. Let's jump in. I've created this video for my DIY projects, and now let's go ahead and see how we can add multiple soundtracks. Let's go ahead and click on the audio tab and search for our first soundtrack. I'll search for something happy. Let's listen to this. Okay, I've listened to this and I really like it, so I'm just going to click on this. And as you can see, it's automatically added underneath my videos. I don't want it to play all the way through all my five slides, so I'm just going to move it to the first slide and perhaps trim this for two slides only. Now I can make adjustments within this soundtrack. I can either double click on it or click these three dots and adjust my soundtrack. You can see that I have this purple box and anything that's outside this box is not going to play. So I can move this around and decide perhaps it should play from the beginning or from the middle. So I think the starting point of this soundtrack would be excellent for me. So let's just swipe this and listen to it. Okay, it's a bit silent, too silent in the beginning, so I'm just gonna double click this again and move it a little. You can see when the music gets louder. Okay, I really like it. Now I want the music to change on the third slide. So in this case, I'm going to search for something similar, but different. Let's go with lounge. And I've listened to a couple of them and there is one I particularly like and it's this one. So I'm just going to add this and you'll notice that once I click on it, I get the second track with a different color so I can tell the difference between them. So let's say I want this to begin exactly when the first one ends and I want it to play only for these two slides. So I'm going to trim this and then again, I can adjust this and decide when I want the music to start. So you can see I have this kind of silence in the middle, so that would be a good point to start. And let's listen and see how it sounds like when it changes. Okay, it goes really well with the transition I added. And now what I want to do is I want to bring back the first soundtrack to the last slide. So I can easily duplicate this, just right click or click on these three dots and duplicate the soundtrack. You can see that each soundtrack is located in a different place, but you can also add it at the same spot. So now I got the same soundtrack and it has the same color. So I'm just going to trim this so it begins playing when the last slide comes in. Now, I want it to end nicely with a nice fade out. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to double click on this and then move it all the way to the end. And usually soundtracks have nice fade outs at the end. I'm just going to search for that nice fade out. Not too much because it could be a little too quiet. So maybe just a pinch like that and perhaps just adjust the last slide so it fits the music perfectly. And what I'm going to do now is I'm going to add a fourth soundtrack and it's going to be a voiceover. So I went ahead and recorded myself for this last slide and I went to the uploads tab and uploaded my voiceover. So just watch and see how easy it is. I'm just going to click on this. It's colored green, let me just stretch it so you can see it better. And now I can place it underneath my last track and then they can play at the same time. So as you can see, I have this quiet part at the beginning and at the end. So I'm just going to trim this so it'll just match perfectly. And I'm going to swipe this to the left. Now, if I want my voiceover to be loud and clear, I should set the volume of the background music to perhaps 
30 or 25, just so it'll be easy to hear me speak over the music. When I finish speaking, I'd like the music to go up again. So what I can do, I can't adjust the volume within this soundtrack, but what I can do is trim this so it ends exactly when I finish talking. And then I'm just going to duplicate this one more time. And then, watch this, I'm just going to place this at the last part of the slide when I'm not talking anymore. And then I'll just adjust the volume back up to 100. And I'll just make sure that I really have this ending, that nice fade out ending. And let's listen to this now. If you want to see more videos like this, click the link below. Thanks for watching. How cool was that? Thank you very much for joining me. I hope you enjoyed this episode and I'll see you all in the next one. Gotta go. Wow, thank you Adas for these precious tips and thank you for watching this video until the end. I have two playlists right here for those of you who want to go a bit deeper and keep learning. This one right here is a collection of step-by-step -step Canva tutorials. And this one gathers all of our Canva Space webinar recordings where Canva experts teach about all sorts of topics.